Move, Max. Don't waste your power on getting busted. my power or just look for a hiding spot or both where are they hello hello anybody there Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. Hey! Try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. Who's here? I got I got a flashlight and a stick. Anybody there? Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. Who's here? I got I got a flashlight and a stick. We are so invisible. Let's bail. Wait, turn around. They're coming. We have to find another way out. Oh, this is bullshit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? Uh, okay. Into the car!
are. Always remember this moment. Photobomb! Photo hog. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. I know that it is freezing. I think we have to walk I keep waving at the taxis They keep turning their lights off I'm so wiped out from last night But it was awesome I have to ponder what kind of criminal I've become So last night was only the tip of the iceberg I have to admit it was pretty cool to take over the Blackwell gym. Today the gym, tomorrow the world. We need to step it up. We still have to be careful how I use my power. I don't want to get stuck in time. With the sidewalk and the pigeons and my window reflection. Mask up polish in the evening while the morning looks like shit. Okay, I need to get dressed now. I know you have a heavy... Chloe doesn't seem too upset she didn't take that money from the handicapped fund. So many men stronger than me have thrown their backs out. I thought Chloe might put up a pic of me instead. Can't compete with Rachel. Holy shit balls. Frank is scary. I should have let Chloe take that money. The love I saw you in the evening by the morning won't. I love this morning light. 
It's so peaceful. Wouldn't it be wicked if we could just hang out here forever like when we were kids? Yes, but sadly we're not kids anymore. At least you can date now, right? My dad was terrified of the day I would discover boys. So, you never really told me if you had a serious boyfriend while I was away. Not serious. I was stupid, usually. I went through a boy toy phase. Among other things. I can't see you with any of the guys around here. Because you have a good eye. That's why I was so glad Rachel came along to rescue me. Sounds like you totally crushed on Rachel. You would have too. Smart, sexy, and sassy. Like me, right? Well, duh. <laughs> maybe Rachel would have fought over both of us. You wish. Then again, maybe. You're a photographer and she wanted to be a model. I'm lucky David didn't bust me for acting like it was my part. Can I check out the news on this old laptop? Oh, at least we haven't been identified. Yet. I have to go. Especially since Kate's parents aren't going to bury her here. It's not something I would recommend. I'm lucky David didn't bust me for acting like it was my part. Time to put on your daily armor, Max. Ew, still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. I don't think I'll be washing today. Chloe doesn't seem too upset she didn't take that money from the handicapped fund. If you want, go ahead and check out the closet for some fresh clothes. Okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. Oh man, that was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka bra. Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to, uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? Wow. I remember this old phone. We decorated it together. Oh my god, that smells so amazing. It's like when we were kids here.
I thought Chloe... Holy shit balls. Frank is scary. Check you out, Max. Ready for the runway. Go downstairs and show Joyce. She'll love it. The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. Wow, sir. That was my 10th birthday. I didn't know Chloe kept this stuff. Check out Mad Max, <laughs> ready to fucking thrash. I'm so hardcore. You know, I haven't gone through a dyeing my hair blue phase yet. Maybe it's time. Chloe never used to care when I borrowed her toothbrush. What's ironic is I always hated it when Chloe used my toothbrush. Feels so good to wash my face after all that chlorine. And hiding. Chloe never used to care when I borrowed her toothbrush. Chloe has had this damn dirty pirate towel since we were kids. <laughs> Serious flashback. I better not go in there. David might be in bed. Ew. This might be the one time these people are right. Looks like a message. David, this is Officer Korn. Just want to let you know your stepdaughter's car was identified near the Blackwell campus last night around the time of the break-ins. What? Give me a call <sighs> soon. Are you in trouble again, Chloe? Don't you sleep? Message deleted. Goodbye, message. I think Chloe has earned a break from all this bullshit. Joyce looks so different in her street clothes. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel, uh, uh, I mean, Max. Who oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Eggs and bacon all the way. Remember when you guys would sleep in until I yelled out, wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Totally. We'd wake up so fast. So this time you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the actual eggs and the bacon. I can handle eggs and bacon. I should evolve and become a vegan, but, huh, bacon. 
I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Come on, Max. Find those ingredients so we can chow down. Wowzer. Chloe still eats the same cereal. So do I. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. I hate to even think this, much less say it out loud, but I think Rachel is in serious trouble. I know. I watch those awful true crime shows and it makes me ill if I think about Rachel ending up on one. So I don't think too much. I see why Chloe is so obsessed with finding her. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. I keep expecting to see the sky turn red. Kate's life was sure worth a nice exploitive headline. Who drinks beer this early around here? Chase, can you help me get this bird out of here? Go on, grab a seat, Max. I'm almost done whipping up this amazing breakfast. Oh, dead bird. Poor thing. these birds died. Sitting in a swing always feels so comforting. Poor bird. He seems kind of freaked out. Bird, be gone! Fly, you fool! Poor bird. He seems kind of freaked out.
Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. I guess nobody waters the plant here. Bring those eggs and bacon to my belly. Kate's life was sure worth a nice exploitive headline. Seeing you again, ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this, and... and... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive. Everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please. It's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Uh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. <laughs> 